Hey guys and girls, what's up? Got a quick video for you guys. I got a new airbrush. It's the Saltar 2020. Saltar 2020? I think it's called. I think I'm pronouncing it right. By Badger. So I'm excited. This is supposed to be a very durable, precision, not too expensive. Um, well, it is kind of maybe a little expensive uh, if you don't get it on a sale. Um, from Badger. Um, it's a top feed, uh, gravity fed. Uh, airbrush uh, it's the finest airbrush ever made made in the USA so if anybody could tell me this um, there's a little warning that this uh, package comes in, uh, there's a warning here Right here, this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause some type of cancer. What the hell is that all about? Like, what chemicals in there? Uh, the only thing I could think of, maybe the the rings, the the, the Teflon rings. But other than that, I don't know. What? And I've noticed other Badger products, airbrushes, have that warning too. So I'm only assuming it's that. So if anybody could. Uh, write in the comments and uh, maybe other people are wondering what is that so they're not chewing on it <laughs> on that part that causes cancer uh, just a thought maybe it's just me freaking out or maybe they had to put that because you know some regulations or something and just they just exaggerating it um, so here we go it's a nice thing nice matted airbrush I haven't really used it I'm actually gonna try to use it right after this video um, and here we go, these are the cards of how to get your stuff serviced. Um, and their webpage, air, uh, webairbrushes.com. And for parts and accessories, they have a number that you can call in. Again, I'll badger, uh, all their Badger airbrushes or everything that Badger makes that is regarding an airbrush, they have like a lifetime warranty. So if anything breaks or anything, you could send it into them and they'll repair it. And you just have to cost, uh, only thing that you have to pay for is the the shipping uh, to them. I don't know if you have to sh uh, pay the shipping back to you. Um, so that's the parts list. It's very a lot of little parts. When I saw that, I'm like, wow! I don't want to really take this apart. Here's the tip end or the tip guard. Uh, let me see if it focuses here. I'm trying here. Hold on. I'll press this button, and there you oh had it no not be there you go so that's the tip that guards the the needle itself it's optional I'm gonna most likely use it unless I need to get you know somewhere very close uh, here's an extra needle I believe uh, I'm not, not too sure uh, if it's the same size or different size and I believe, if, I'm a, if I remember correctly, it has one already inside. You could actually, yeah, you could actually see it right there on the uh, airbrush uh, trigger adjustment. You can see the, the needle there. So that's it. You can see it has like a matte finish. Uh, very nice. These pins, which are uh, this adjust two adjustable things it has there. Again, I'm not too familiar with this brush. It has the the two uh, switch one for the air and one for the paint flow so when you press down you get air and then the other one the more back you, you pull on it uh, more paint is being pushed through the tip again made in the USA let's check out this tip so maybe it doesn't have a tip huh weird um, maybe I am freaking out it does have one. Oh, come on yeah, it has one there, a little one, I think. Maybe it doesn't. I forgot. <laughs> no, it has one because you can see the back end of it there. I guess I have to adjust it when I when I do get to it. Just stick it out more so you can see the tip of the needle. Uh, here we go. Maybe I could get a, a better shot at it. Well, what they say about this airbrush is it's it's that it's very uh, 
durable. You could get a lot of fine detail with it. Um, and I'm still trying to get this in focus for you guys. Pardon the, the camera work and all this stuff. There you go. There, there, there's a needle there. And I put it back right there. Hardly see it. But yeah, I can't wait to see this. Uh, oh, I see this. Use this airbrush. And um, what I'm going to use it right now, the first thing I'm going to use it, maybe it's, I shouldn't use it. But I want to try it out. I'm going to prime some some Infinity Minis that I'm trying to build real fast. I got them built. I need to paint them, at least throw some color on it. Um, you can see the, the pot there from the inside. Maybe I'll give you a better look at it. There you go. When I'm not even trying, it focuses. Funny, huh? So yeah, trying to be careful here with because it doesn't have the that guard that I showed you uh, the first thing I showed you off the kit, which is this right here. Uh, because when, if if you hit that needle just a little bit, it's gonna mess up the whole thing from my experience. Um, You can put it on. Nice. Now you can see in the box it has the the wrench, so you could take your airbrush apart and clean it up. I guess. Um, I don't know why you would want to uh, bring it apart? Just uh, my rule that I've noticed. I you know I ha I've heard a lot of people say online that they always have to break it apart and clean it. I've experienced it's just as you don't leave anything inside of it, any paint residue, and blow it out completely, and and like at the beginning, do the the you know you hold a piece of paper towel or something on the tip, and you blow it so it could bubble back in out and dip it out like that, and then when you've done that a couple of times, then you blow out to the front. That's how I do it, and it, I've never had to unassemble my my airbrushes. Um, to get them to work properly or you know how I want them to I never had a problem where it was very clogged and I had to do that so there you go guys it's very nice black I like it they should make it more I'm taking a peek in here to make sure there's nothing else so again just to recap what is that chemical these things have made have or made of that is cancerous um, and I'll try to revisit uh, and tell you guys uh, how this airbrush works and I think I'll give you a look at this uh, needle might be the same needle, maybe a different size. It looks a little bit thicker. It has a little protective cover there. I think it's a little bigger. Maybe I'm just freaking out. So there you go. What I do too, when I put the whole needle, maybe from the, from the half on to the to the tip of the needle, I put that uh, that badger oil, the dab, I think it's called. Just to give it a nice uh, loop and <laughs> loop. Make sure no paint sticks on it. All right, guys, enjoyed. I enjoyed it. Just catch you in the next one. Take care.